Okay, first and foremost, I would like to give all the honours and the praises and the glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour. His name is Yahweh by Sham Yahavashai, Bahasham Mahavaka Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahavashai, in who I reverence and honours to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters that are listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days because these are the last days okay and this lesson we're just going to flow with the spirit i have a lot to talk about but it's all going to be filtered through the scriptures everything we're going through is worth it i always get I, i've got to keep saying this if the devil if the devil ain't messing with you at all you need to question if you're in the faith if you're getting a lot of kickback you're in the truth right you are in the truth right so stop we we got to change the perspective is for the perspective of the scriptures not for the perspective of the world because we are not a part of this world so guess what you're going to be hated you're going to have a few people that say hello are you all right i like what you're doing but on a large scale you're going to be hated okay and that's what separates the elect from the non-elect we're going to go to isaiah 45 Remember, Yahavashah is in control of everything. He controls both sides. He controls the evil. He controls the good. Okay. Isaiah 45. And we're going to jump straight to verse 6. That they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord. Right. And the rising of the sun is from the east. Right. From the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord Yahweh Yahabashah and there is none else. One true power. The name of the heavenly father. Yahweh and his son's name is Yahabashah. Okay. And there is none else beside me. So all these other idols you are praying to. You are just praying to demons basically. Right. And I know people are going to get upset. But that is what you are doing. Okay. And this is what these people have done. They've made a covenant with death. It tells us that in Isaiah 28 or 29, they made a covenant with death. And they want you, the reason why these demons make, a lot of these demons got road rage. A lot of these demons come at you. A lot of these demons stalk you. Because they're them same demons, once upon a time that you were in agreement with, when you were in the world. So that's why you're being stalked by demons. Because these were the same demons that when you were in the world, they had a hold of you. But now they don't have a hold of you. And they want you to be in agreement with them. But we're in agreement with Yahabashah and what? His new covenant. Okay? you got to understand what's happening. Because if you don't, you're going to lose your marbles. And that's what they want you to do. Verse 7. I form the light. So it's Yahabashah that forms light, right? And create darkness. So light, daytime, light also represents wisdom, knowledge, understanding, righteousness. And I create darkness. Darkness represents, yes, it could be um, physical, dark, nighttime. Darkness, wickedness, evil, maliciousness, right? Wickedness. He creates both sides. I make peace. So it's Yahabashah that's able to reconcile as well. And I create evil. So Yahusha also creates evil, both sides, right? So within this world we're living in, more so, we're, we know we're living in the kingdom of darkness. So we're fighting against evil, right? And it's, it can be difficult when you want to do the right thing. But people, they've been told that good is evil and evil is good. That's what they've been told. These people are waxing worse and you can see it, how they conduct themselves. You can see it, okay? I, the Lord, do all these things, so and I create evil. So when we see evil happening, the Lord does that. Going back to Job, go back to Job again. We need to, and you know, you may be saying, "Well, you've been over that scripture a million times." Good, I'm not gonna go over it again. All right? The devil hates it. Someone that has the scriptures and knows how to apply it the right way. Scripture says, "Resist the devil, and he shall flee." 
That's how you deal with him. You apply the scriptures according to your situation. Okay. He will flee, but he will come back again. But you apply the scriptures. Job, what? Go straight to it. Job 2. Again, there was a day when the sons of the Most High came to present themselves before the Lord Jehovah and Satan. And when it says the sons of the Most High came to present themselves, these are Israelites. Okay. And Satan came also among them. Right? You ever been teaching? Then all of a sudden you have a disruption. Yeah, that's Satan. That's just that's nothing but the Satan, the spiritual demon Satan that works through vessels, people's vessels. That's all it is. Then Satan came, okay, and it says among them and present himself before the Lord. But he had to, before he came to them, he had to present himself to the Lord Yahweh. Where does this start in the spiritual realm? Okay. And the Lord Jehovah said unto Satan, From whence comest thou? And Satan answered the Lord Jehovah and said, From going to and fro in the earth. So that means that spiritual demon Satan is just operating in people's vessels and having all types of mischief, because that's his whole thing. Right? To cause mischief, to cause disruption, right? To disrupt families. When you think about abortion. Um, the what marriages that are being um wrecked, house dysfunctional households, all these things. The devil loves that because the devil loves confusion, right? Um, drugs, alcoholic. The devil loves all those things. He wants you to be in that state. But once you wake up to this truth, you're able to break out of that state, right? He loves all that, okay? And it says from going to and fro in the earth and walking up and down in it. So that's exactly what he's doing today. All right? That's exactly what he's doing. Them same things. So this is supposed to give you a higher level of understanding. So really, you have one up against your enemies. Really, they ain't got nothing on you. You have one up against them. Because once you know this, you're able to maneuver in such a way where you already know, all right, this is why this individual's doing this. All right. This is why this lady's doing this. This is why this individual's doing this. And you're able to understand. Wherefore, they think they know what they're doing, but they don't. Some of them, some of these people do things um uncon what's it what they call it? Subconsciously and consciously. Right? So now we went to that Baba Kasha. Alright. Whew. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. There's a lot I want to speak about. And according, I want to go to James. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything as well. Now let's go to James. Okay, let's go to James 1. And this is something I've definitely been thinking about. Let's go to 12. It says, Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. Okay. So what are we going through? Temptations, trials. The temptation, who is it from? Huh? Who is it from? Who, who presents that temptation? The devil. How do we know? Read the book of um, Matthew's what for? When Yahweh Shah was being tempted. 40 days, 40 nights. Who presented that temptation? It was the devil. A lot of the times we blame, blame the Heavenly Father. Oh no, but who? It was the devil that tempted you. We're going to go into it. He shall receive the crown of life. And that's what we want to receive. Which the Lord Jehovah shall promise to them that love him. You love Jehovah shall, right? Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of. Check this out. And I didn't really realize this when I first came into the truth. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of the heavenly father. We're going to see why. For the, for the heavenly father cannot be tempted. Because what did Yahweh Shai say? Thou shalt not tempt the Lord. The Heavenly Father cannot be tempted. Right? With evil, neither tempted he any man. So it's not the Heavenly Father that does it. Verse 14. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust. That's the lust which, which, which is within the flesh which the devil uses. And he tries to draw out to get you to go off. 
okay? And enticed, and you've got to be careful because the longer you're in this truth as well, if you're really, really firm in this faith, you, you're also going to get them succubus demons as well that might might try to attack you while you're sleeping. Succubus demons, which is, which is associated with the Jezebel, you're going to get, but this is a sign that you're in the truth. Okay? Because the devil also, he's against um, masculinity as well. You being a, a real man. He's against all these things. He's against order. He wants this order. Okay? The devil's an anarchist as well. An anarchist. <laughs> okay? You know you get them to rep reprobate dumbass anarchists, writing them A's. Oh, well, we're against the establishment. No, you're not. You're foreign. You're causing that disorder. A lot of them are paid off agents anyway to cause confusion. And it says, and enticed by who? The devil. Then when lust have conceived, it bringeth forth sin. That's where it's classed as sin. And sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Right? And when you go to Genesis, what? They were tempted. Eve was tempted. Right? By the devil. Excuse me just a minute. Right? She was tempted by the devil. And she gave in. She wasn't forced. It's just that serpent made it seem sweet. Oh, you, sh you shall not die if you eat of that fruit. Right? He fooled her. He tricked her. Okay? So now we went to that Baba Kashar. So even when you go, if you can't really make an excuse, well, uh, it was the... It was, um, you know, um, it was the Heavenly Father. He put me through it. No. It was a test from the Heavenly Father to see what you were going to do. Go to Ephesians, Baba Kasha, 2. And you have he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. Now we've been quickened in Yahweh Yahweh Shai. You're, you're alive now. We're alive. Okay. And these people in the world, they want to put, they want to put you back to sleep. That's why, they, that's why you have certain people that have been set up around you to try and put you back to sleep, put you in that lackadaisical mindset. Okay. Where in time passed, you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, which is what Satan and the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Check this out. I want to read this in the new translation. Ephesians 2, as for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sins in which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world, right? And the ruler of the kingdom of the air, which is what? Satan, the spirit who, who is now at work in those. So that's that same spirit is still in work at of those, check this out, who are disobedient. So... When you see these people doing evil, it's because it's that same spirit that was once upon you that was having you do that same wickedness they're doing, but that spirit has left you now, that wicked spirit. Now you're able to see now why they do what they do. Because Let's read that again. As for you, you were dead. This is the new translation. In your transgressions and sin in which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world. And that's why it says in Romans 12, be not conformed to this world, but be what transformed by the renewing of your mind. Okay. But you used to live when you followed the ways of this world and the ruler of the kingdom of the air, the spirit who is now at work. So that spirit is still at work, that wicked spirit. Remember what we read in Job? When Satan was asked, well, where, where, where did we come from? And he said, I go um, to and fro in the earth. To and fro. I'm not working up, jumping through people's vessels to have them acting a certain way. And it says, whose spirit is now at work, those who are disobedient of all of us also lived among them at one time, once upon a time, but now you're not doing that. Does this mean we don't have any shortcomings? No. We still have shortcomings, but at least when we slip and fall, we know, yep, we can improve on that and we know why it's happening. The people in the world, they don't, they don't know. They don't know why they do what they do. Well, some of them do. Some of them are just um, demons on purpose. <laughs> and gratifying the cravings of our sinful nature and following its desires and thoughts. 
basically you just moved according the first thought you had you just moved with that thought you just accepted it impulsive these people they're very impulsive right they do things without thinking like the rest we were by nature objects of wrath destruction but because of his great love for us the most high who is rich in mercy made us alive in Mashiach even when we were dead in transgressions Whew. come on it is by grace you have been saved and the most high Yahweh raised us up with Mashiach and seated us with him in heavenly realms in Mashiach so you see the enemy the enemy sees that because it says he's raised us up and seated us with him in heavenly realms heavenly places so the things that we see and we experience in the flesh is that going to annoy you at something yeah it may but we got to rise we got to rise above that because the scripture says we have been raised up in heavenly realms right and people can see that that's why their whole job is to lower your vibration that's their whole duty to get you distracted right to keep you on a low frequency that's why they will use what a lot of noise campaigns but that's not supposed to bother you because all that's carnal these people they're carnal right let me just rev an engine rang, 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 rang. these are carnal people they're people of the flesh they're base so once you understand these scriptures it gives you it's supposed to give us comfort right basically they're trying to put stress on you basically what what they try what they're trying to do they, they're trying to kill you they're trying to stress you out they want you to have a nervous break that's what they would that's what they want you to do they're using chemicals they're using all types of shit they're doing that's why i'm drinking this um hot peppermint tea they're doing all that they're using chemical they're using energy weapons the devil's a the devil's a coward he knows he's losing so he has to do all these things okay Using chemicals, poison, poisoning your foods, putting spells. The devil knows he's losing. Revelation 12. Bear me just a minute. Why are they doing these things? Let's go to Revelation 12. All right? And a lot, a lot of these people as well, they don't really tell you what's going on. A lot of them are traffickers as well. All right? And a lot of what reason why they do these energy weapons because they're trying to um, um mess up your organs basically make sure you keep healthy make sure you're um you keep as healthy as possible because a lot of these people that drive past they're also what traffickers yeah a lot of these people are traffickers they traffic children why you would think all these children are going missing these are traffickers we're going to expose this whole flipping program through the scriptures these are demonic people Right, and exploit, and you see these people as well exploiting their children, having them doing reprobate stuff. Is this is this program? It opens up your eyes to everything, everything that's going on. And why would you have a nursery? Why would you have a daycare center or a nursery right next to a mental um mental home? Mmm, mmm. That's just an accident waiting to happen. Come on. These people are demonic. But just keep it, according to them now, just keep it on a hush hush. Don't say nothing. But hold on, hold on a minute. But you'd be the first ones to demonize us for what we believe in. But you're not speaking up against these things. Because these people, they're hypocrites. And that's why Yahweh is going to jack them up. And just look at the people that come up against you. Just, just, just observe. Just observe them. Just, just look at their spirit. <laughs> Go to Revelation 12 and 12. Revelation 12 and go straight to, you know what, I want to start at 10. And now, you know what, you know what, you know what, you know what. And now I heard a loud voice saying, in heaven and now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his anointed for the accuser of our brethren is cast down. <sighs> Excuse me, just a minute. <sighs> Get this mucus out. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down. Who's the accuser of our brethren? 
Yeah, that's mainly talking about Esau and the other nations. And I've got to tell you this as well. Yeah, you do have Israelites of our own people as well. You, do, you have Israelites as well that would try to accuse you before the Heavenly Father. Right? That's Satan's job. Right? To try to um, create a rap sheet. Yeah, we're building up a... I've even heard, heard reprobate men saying that in camps. Yeah, we're building up a case. What? Hold on, hold on. You're building a case. No, if a man's wicked, you don't need to build... This, this, this shows you how reprobate people think. If a man's wicked, if he's just clearly wicked, you don't need to build up a case. Build a case. Now, if this man's wicked, it'd be, it'd be known. It's, it'd be obvious before the world. Don't, we don't need to build up a case. Unless, unless you're wicked, you see, a lot of men tell on themselves. And where are these men now? You don't see them. Two months, no videos. Because they, they, they're not prophets. They're, full, they're false prophets. They divide unto you lies. I, I had a dream. I had a dream. I had a vision. Yeah, the Lord gave you that vision just to deceive you and those that believe your vision. Anyway, let's stick to the scriptures. Let's go to Revelation 12. And we was on 10, which accused them before our power day and night. Because I want to let you know as well, even the Masons, they're taught that you do, you do know that they know the name of their Heavenly Father in Hebrew. They're taught that in Masonry. They know the name Yahweh, but they just don't, they don't mention it. Because the scripture says that the, what the name is dreadful among the heathens. So they, they, in masonry, they're taught the name Yahweh. They know the name. In masonry, they have a Bible, but they just use it for wickedness. So yeah, even masons, they deal with the Bible. Christians deal with the Bible, but the, the average Christian is a witch. The average Christian, a lot of the modern day gang stalkers are in your Christian churches. Right? Because the pastors get pissed off because we're not following the pastors. We're following what Yahweh Shai told us. Right, so if you even got people that leave the churches and they become gang stalked and ostracized because they left the church. So even this this rubbish is even happening within the churches, and they're getting upset. They're getting hurt because when they hear this word, they're like, "Well, oh no, well if he's teaching that, um, I don't even want to be a believer anymore." So you're messing up even the churches. You're messing up their money as well because all they're doing is teaching you lies and fables. Right. And putting spirits on you. So this is Revelation 12. And 12. 11. So like, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. So it's already, already been written. If you're of the elect. You, you've already overcome them. It just needs to be played out in the flesh. Yeah and Esau would do things. The devil would do things. To have you think. Oh, we're going we're gonna to kill you. Oh, we're going to use these energy weapons. We're going to do... Bro, bro, bro. Look, listen. You can only go so far. But we are, we're already dead to this world anyway. So what, what does it really matter? What, whatever Esau does. All these things are threats to get, to get you scared. Okay? Because the Lord has looked after you, right? Just make sure he's provided for you. Make sure you're, you're, you're all right. That's all they, that's all they can do. Right? He's tried to push fear or doubt. That's all they can do. And it says, And he overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, which is Yehavashat, and by the word of their testimony, the testimony that they had, and only a few, not every, not every Israelite has the testimony. Because you have some Israelites, they just know the name, and that's as far as it goes. But you have Israelites, they have the testimony. You know the apostles? They were so after. Why? Because they had the testimony. Excuse me just a minute. Of Yahweh Shai. That's why they were so much of a threat. To them Pharisees. To the Pharisees and to Esau and that hierarchy in the Roman Empire at that time. Because they actually had the testimony of Yahweh Shai. They were with him. And them same spirits are back here again today. And that's why Esau is trying to take them out. He's trying to take out the witnesses. Okay. And it says, and they love not their lives unto death. So we don't really love, what, it's not a thing where we love our lives. You know? We don't love our lives here. This place is, this place is wicked. Now, do we have joy? Yeah, inner joy. 
concerning the kingdom and this wisdom, but we don't love our lives here. Right? Verse 12, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants, woe means destruction and of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knows that he has brought a short time. This explains why the demonic activity it has it has risen def definitely definitely you're seeing people act a particular way all bugged out malfunctioning because it says it's coming down onto you having great wrath that's what the dragon's doing and the dragon is what a beast this empire because he know it says because he knoweth that he have but a short time so them same spirits because everybody is a spirit, right? We have evil, we have good. So them same spirits of the devil that are in people, they know they have a short time. That's why they act erratically. You ever Have you ever cornered a narcissist? They act erratically, right? They need to find supply. And anytime you corner a narcissist, they start panicking. That's the demon inside of them. But this is what these people, and they have demons inhabiting inside of them. They don't want to get out. And that's why when you have a shy, when they would see Yahweh Shai from a distance, they would panic. They would panic. Have you come to torment us before our time? So it's the same thing again today. These people, another reason, the reason why they surround you as well, the reason why they surround you, because they know they have a short time. So the only thing they can do is um, project. Because remember, the demons fear and tremble. It tells us that in James. The demons fear and tremble, quiver, shake. So because of that, the only thing they can do is rush in. They can rush in with the fear, the legion demon. That's why there's many of them. And Yahweh Shah had the power to cast them out. Anytime them devils saw Yahweh Shah, they would tremble. They would panic. Just like that man by the tombs. Excuse me just a minute. Excuse me just a minute. Just like that individual by the tombs. What happened with him? Right? He was cutting himself, self-inflicting himself. He had that legion demon on him. Excuse me just a minute. Because these spirits, they not we, we we get into it. They go to Matthew Mark 5. And they came over to the other side of the sea, into, into the country of Gadarenes. And when he was come out of the ship. Immediately they met him out of the tombs, a man with an unclean spirit. An unclean spirit comes in different forms, by the way. Right? It's not all the same thing. And it says, who had his dwelling among the tombs. Right? So this individual, today, if you see someone dwelling by the tombs, graveyards, you know that something came right. Because graveyards are a, are a, a place of um, possession. Spirits, where spirits dwell. Right? And no man could bind him. No, not with chains. Not even with chains. So he had super strength. Okay. Because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains. And chains had been plucked asunder by him. And fetters broken in pieces. Neither could any man tame him. No man could hold him down. And always night and day he was in the mountains. So when you have people screaming, shouting, well, that's just a that's just a demon upon them. You know? Very vexated. When you see people vexated, that's a, a legion demon upon them. And always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying. Right? Well, there has to be a reason why you're crying. He was vexed. And cutting himself with stones. So he was crying for no reason. And cutting himself with stones. That's just, He was self-inflicting himself. Right? Just like the prophets of Ba'ad. The prophets of Ba'ad. Remember they were cutting themselves. Right? And blood was gushing out. It tells us that in Kit what Kings. Right? And it says. But when you have a shire. But when he saw you have a shire afar off. He ran and worshipped. He said, the scripture says he ran. Of each, he, he saw Yahweh, Yahweh shout afar off. He said he ran. 
and worshipped him. So this was, this was a demon. It, he ran to Yahusha and worshipped him. Because Yahusha is the father of spirits. And cried with a loud voice. And said, what have I to do with thee? Okay. Yahusha, the son of the Most High, panicking, panicking. I adjure thee by the Most High that thou torment me not. Right? So who was that speaking? Remember, 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 you have the individual that's in the flesh and you have the spirit that was in that individual. It was the spirit within that individual that was speaking. The, it was that, the demon within that individual that was speaking. That thou torment me not. Right? So this particular people you're around, the reason why they act erratically and you may be getting a lot of attention because you may have the spirit of Yahawashai within you and they're feeling tormented and you don't even have to be in their presence. You don't have you don't even have to be in their presence. You could be hidden away and they'd still be acting a certain way because they can feel your aura. And that's why you can't you can't that's not you can't really hide yourself. Right? Okay. And it says, But he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we have many. That explains why you're being so called stalked as well. And when you're being stalked, it's by many people, it's by demons. It's that of them saying legions. <sighs> Excuse me, just a minute. Remember, some of them in Matthews. And Luke, when it says, when an unclean spirit has gone out of a man, he seeketh rest, right? And findeth it swept and garnished, and bringeth seven other demons. So them demons, they're trying to get you back into the world, right? That's what they're trying to do. Or they or they try to come with that intimidation spirit. Remember, they're, they're intimidated. That's why they need to come in droves. They need to come in groups, right? Because they know they have a short time. My name is Legion, for we are many legions, about 4,000 to 7,000 troops. So even them demons, they even got, um, them demons have got like mercenaries, right? There's many of them. And he besought him. And that's why you see a lot of these people, they'd be doing the same thing, the exact same thing. That's that legion demon. There's many of them. And he besought him much that he would not send them away out of the country. Now there was a night unto the mountains a great herd of swine feeding, and all the devils pursued him, saying, Send us into the swine, that we may enter into them. Right? In other words, send us into the, the devil said, send us into the pigs. Right? And the swine was the, again, remember these were unclean spirits, by the way. So the unclean spirit, it needed to another unclean spirit to attach you. And that's why when you sim, and when you're doing something that's not good, then demons are able to, attach themselves to you and this is another thing we got to be uh, mindful of is well if you if you start someone that picks up a cigarette or some weed and starts smoking it well who's that led by yeah that's the, that that's the that's the devil that's the devil because you may say no it's just me that 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 is the devil make you pick up that light it up and he's happy he's smiling Someone that eats large amounts of pork. That's how them, them demons are able to work with you. So the reason how these demons enter into these people. Because they're giving themselves over to these That's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. In other words, they're not, they're not disciplined. So they're able to be what used and manipulated. And that's why it went into the swine. Because we know swine is unclean. So they look for unclean vessels that we may enter into Rem. See? And forthwith Yahweh gave them leave to get out, and the unclean spirits went out. Okay? And entered into the swine. Okay? And the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea. And there were about 2,000 were choked in, choked in the sea. Okay. So again, it shows you how these spirits work. All right. 
but it was so bad. Even the even even the pigs knew that what whatever was in them wasn't right. So they they drowned themselves in the sea, jumped off that cliff into the sea, and they that fed the swine fled and told it in the city. They ran off. Why did they? Why did Slaka? They that fed the yeah. Why did they? Why did they flee? Why did they flee? Because they had them same spirits upon them. See, not all people, but most. Most people don't want to let go of um, demonic spirits, them attachment, them idols. They don't want to let go of it. And that's why they fled and told it in the city and in the country. And they went out to see what it was that was done. And they came to Yahweh and to see him. And that was possessed with the devil. And had the legion sitting and clothed and in his right mind. And they were afraid. They were scared. Okay. And they that saw it told them how it befell to him that was possessed with the devil and as concerning the spine. Check this out. And they began to pray him to depart out of their coast. So you would have think they would embrace them. No, they wanted him to depart out of the So this, this is showing you. They, did, they didn't want him to stay. Why? Because them same legion demons were on them as well. So this thing is this thing is heavy. You're going to get some people that embrace you and you're going to get the, the large majority they're not going to because they're stuck in their ways. They're, they're comfortable with them demons using them to do evil, thinking that they're getting a um, good gain of the world and worshipping these idols. But when, them de when the devil's done with them, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? A lot of these people are going to commit suicide. A lot of these people are going to off themselves. So we went into that, Baba Kasha. And now let's go to Psalms 34. And I want to start from the top. I will bless the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Right? Continually. Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Barak, Afar, Barak, Afar. Bless means Barak, 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 Barak. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord, Yahweh, Shai. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord Jehovah shall with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord Jehovah Jehovah Shai, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Alright? Oh, so you we got to sought the Lord, and he heard him. He heard King David and delivered me from all my fears. Okay. And the devil, the devil would, yeah, he tries, he tries to rush him with that fair demon. He, he always tries to do that, right? Because if he can use fair, then that means he can control you. <laughs> he can control you if he can do that, right? But he looked unto him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried. Bear me just a minute. This poor man cried. Check it out, right? This poor man cried. Where was I? Where was I? Where was I? This poor man cried, and the Lord. I'm moving too fast. They looked upon him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. So we gotta have that same mindset. Yeah, you may be in trouble, but the Lord's gonna save you out of that trouble if you continue to have faith. Right, no matter what you're going through, whether it's terminal, some terminal illness, whatever you're going through, as long as you have faith. With people coming up against you, you have a shall deliver you from those troubles. Verse 7, the angel of the Lord in compath, I love this scripture, round about them that fear him. Check this out. The angel of the Lord, you have a in compath about them that fear him and delivereth them. Right? So you do know you have angels around you. Yeah, you have angels, and maybe one, maybe two, looking out for you. Because if it was up to these people, bro, you don't know what they would do. Right? And deliver a friend. Okay, so that's why fear is the beginning of wisdom. You have to fear your house shy. Oh, taste and see that the Lord your house is good and blesses the man that trusteth in him. Taste means experience that your house is good. Oh, fear the Lord, Yahweh Shai, yeah, he's saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. So if you truly fear Yahweh where's the want? 
See, these people, they're wanting. They're never satisfied. They want more and more and more and more and more. But you still notice they're miserable. And they try to project that misery upon you. Because <laughs> they see that you're content with the little or with the little you have. Okay? And that, that, that annoys a lot of people. That annoys a lot of people. The, the young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me, I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is that does what man is he that desireth life and loveth many days, that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. Right? Depart from evil and do good. Isaiah, what's it, 59, I think it's 19. But he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. So that's another thing now. Now you depart from evil, people are going to look at you a certain way. But he was doing this. Well, we got to get him to do that. The people around you, they're set up to try and get you back into the world to tempt you. Okay? Seek peace and pursue it. The devil, do you really think the devil wants you to have a peace of mind? He wants you to be erratic. Right, and another thing I want to let you know as well. You're not got your Habasha is not going to have it where you're serving him, and he's going to bug you out. He's going to he's going to um put you in a mental home. He ain't going to do it. So this way. You got to have faith. You really think you're going to be serving the Lord? He's going to completely bug you out, turn you mental. No, you have to know that's the devil trying to put thoughts in your head. Oh, you might be crazy. Do you really believe that? You gotta you gotta acknowledge when the devil's try working through people. Okay? Because the same person that will call you mad, just look at their lifestyle. The same person that calls you mad, they shave they shave off their beard. They shave off they shave off their hair with a razor. And get these nasty razor bumps. They eat pork. But you're mad according to that's why you can't listen to what they're saying. They're bugged out, they're mad, they're delusional. The same people that will call, excuse me, the same people that will call you mad will be driving around, right? We'll be driving around in their sports cars in a loop, <laughs> in a loop, but they call you mad, right? And it says, where was I? From verse, yep, 14. Seek peace and pursue it. So the main thing, you want to seek peace and pursue that. Oh, there's great peace within this truth. Without this truth, you don't really have true peace. And the devil wants to disrupt your peace. That's what he wants to do. He wants to get you confused. He wants to get you um, distracted. And whoever, whoever, I want to say this as well. Sometimes it's not just, it's not just Edomites. It's not so-called white people that could put you on a program. You even got niggas that would do that as well. You even got niggas, right? A nigger may have a problem with you. He may even get you put on a program. Right, but you know what? The program always works to our betterment, anyway. Right, because remember, we're on 24 what 24 hour surveillance monitoring. Right, yeah, they're using the CAT scans, they're using the x rays, the CAT scans, they're using all that rubbish. Right, but it just, sh it just shows you. And whoever, whoever's doing that, it shows you, bro, that's a real Jezebel narcissistic individual. This is someone. This, this is a narcissist we're dealing with here. Because we're talking about 24-hour surveillance. We're talking about these people. They've put gadgets around your household. They put gadgets around your household. So this is someone that needs that can't approach you. They don't want to approach you. So they need to use your family members and people around you to try to get info on what you're doing. These are psychopaths. But that's okay because Yahweh wa Yahweh is going to destroy you if you may be in Israel if you don't repent. Because I believe niggas are behind this as well. I personally I believe niggas are behind my so-called gang sagging and targeting. I believe it's probably someone I used to roll with. I be, I, be, I personally I believe it is. It, it could be, it might not be. But really, it doesn't really matter because Yahweh is dealing with all things. Right? These are cowards. Right? And they send their friends, their mates to park outside. Bro, these are cowards. These are these are people that have an obsession with 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 me. Because only so, someone would only do that if you have an obsession. 
with summer. It's weird. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to shut off Psalms 34. And 15. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are upon their cry. So Yahweh Shai sees everything that's going on. And it says the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous because the angels are what? Watching everything. Right? Everything. Every little detail. Even what you're thinking. And his ears are open unto their cry. Alright? So even when we cry, you might cry outwardly, you might cry inwardly. Alright? The face of the Lord is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. Okay? And that's what Yahweh is going to do. The righteous cry, Yahweh, and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. Come on. It says the righteous cry. Cry unto Yahweh Shai. Cry unto him. And the Lord heareth. Bro, they're in trouble. If if that if that cry, if your cry reaches to Yahweh Yahweh Shai, they're in big, they're in big, 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 big trouble. Right? And deliver them out of all their trouble. So the Lord is going to deliver you. And guess what? I want to say this as well. Because a lot of people say, oh, but the gang's stalking the targeting. Oh, how long does it last? It, it lasts as long as Yahweh Shai wants it to last. That's how long it lasts. As long as he wants it to go on. But these things need to happen. People need to come up against you. The, the elects, the hopeful elect. Just so they can be judged. You may be thinking, well, well how comes nothing's happened to him? No, 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 no. Don't worry, just look. Do the work and Yahweh Shai has everything under control. Okay? They're going the whole nine. They're, they're doing everything. They're sending signals through the walls. They're doing the whole lot. Okay? Verse 18. The Lord Yahweh Shai is nigh to them that are of a broken heart. And save us such as we have a contrite spirit. And that's why being broken hearted is someone that's contrite, someone that's humble. And that acknowledges their sins. Okay. And save us such as be of a contrite heart. Sorrowful. Broken heart. Many of the afflictions of the righteous. Many. Yeah, we're, be, we're being afflicted. But the Lord delivered him out of them all. Yeah, we're going through many afflictions. But that's the right passage. Like I started off with this lesson. If you ain't going through nothing... That's when you need to really panic. If you are, that's that's a blessing. Especially if you know you're you're seeking to do the right thing and you're not you're not willingly sinning. He keepeth all his bones, none of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate, you see. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Bro, you can't get any better than that. These are powerful, powerful, powerful words. So all we need to do is just continue continue to pray, continue to fast, continue to be brotherly and seek Yahweh where Yahweh Shai. Whether you're going out on the highways and byways or not. Because again, that's another thing that's shortened as well. I don't do all that long-term traveling and all that. All that's lessened now. Not to say if Yahweh Shai won't have me going out. Look, it's all according to his spirit. It's all according to him. Scripture says trust, not, trust him not on their own heart. you got to move according to the spirit. Right? But the times of always going out into the highways and byways seven days a week. No, 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 no. That's, that's, that's not as much now. Right? Things are changing. Because it's going to be a famine of this word. Yahweh is withdrawing his prophets off them streets real soon. Now, we're still, we're still on them streets. But there's a time where he's going to be withdrawing his men from off them streets. Because he doesn't want all the right people to get it. But then doors of mercy are still open. Okay. So with this, I hope this was edifying. And until the next time. Shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom.